Hello and welcome to what is supposed to be not a very good dating sim, but was recommended to me by my friend Taylor. And it is called Lazarante Amor. I don't know anything about this, but just that I needed to play it, and I wanted this to be the first thing I did when I got my new mic. So we're gonna dive in, we're gonna hit start. Uh, please input the heroine's first name. If nothing is entered, it will default to Lily. We're just gonna do my name because... Hold on. I'm like, uh, look, there's like, I'm, I'm gonna have to find a new workaround to like how my setup is. Because right now it's just not very really good. There's gonna be tons of me around. All right. Input your name. Boop. When I was a little girl, I used to dream about all the cool things I'd do once I was a grown-up. My dreams changed constantly. I first wanted to be a teacher, then an artist, then a baker, and then a stewardess. The sky was the limit, but you know what? It's now been more than four months since I graduated. Mm -hmm. Since I graduated from college, and none of my dreams have come true yet. Real life can be pretty hard. Oh, oh, oh no! I was spacing out on the job again and dropped everything that I was just holding. That's what I get for not being careful, I guess. I know I should pay more attention, but I can't help it. Uh, annoyed co-worker. Did you seriously just drop another set of plates? Uh, um, oh, cute. I keep thinking that there's gotta be a limit on your stupidity, but then you go and raise the bar for yourself yet again. Are the words supposed to be cut off like that? This is fine. But, but I didn't mean to drop them. My mind just wandered for a bit. You think that makes it okay? No. Do you know how much just one of these dishes cost? Oh, come on now, Ethan. It's not that big of a deal, is it? Are you kidding me, Pierre? She just broke about $150 worth of china. <laughs> Calm down. It's not the end of the world. This isn't something to laugh about. Yes, I always dreamed of being an adult, but reality's harsh. I'm 22 years old now and a waitress after four years of college. Ugh. And I only got this job because my uncle owns this place. But nobody ever got anywhere by being too hard on themselves. In this economy, I'm lucky to have a job at all. And most of the time, I enjoy my job very much. The patrons are very nice, and as for my co-workers... What are you grinning about? You look like an idiot. Oh, you're the... You are very clearly going to be like the Sundari character. God. Is it wrong to be happy? It is when it's just after breaking a whole bunch of dishes. Unless you enjoy being a complete pain, which I'm getting to suspect you might. Damn, even chill. I forgot about that. Oh no. I hope my uncle won't be too upset with me. I quickly gra run to grab the broom so I can clean up the broken pieces. This place is... Ristorante Amore. An uptown Italian restaurant. After graduating from college, I, like a lot of people in this horrible economy, had trouble finding a job. Nobody was in need of the skills that I have. What skills do we have is the question. Luckily, my uncle, who owns this restaurant, was in need of a waitress to fill in after one girl had to move out of town. He didn't mind my lack of experience, either. I'm not the most coordinated person in the world, but I try my best. Nope. You should have seen how many dishes I broke on my first day. Ethan was pretty upset that day, too. I must have made a terrible first impression. Oh, Ethan is this guy here. He's a waiter, and we usually have shifts together. I'm glad that I have someone more experienced to rely on, but Ethan can be pretty harsh when I make mistakes. He means well, I think. He's just a little, um, picky. But he never demands more work from me than he puts on himself. Ethan is a very hard worker. 
Taylor, let me have the broom. Oh, Pierre, it's, it's, it's okay. I'm the one who broke the dishes. Oh, no, no, I insist. I'm on break right now anyway. Before I can protest more, Pierre gently tugs the broom away from my hands and proceeds to sweep up for complete pieces. Pierre is always such a gentleman. He's the, the shoes, the, the sous chef. He's the sous chef here, so we don't exactly work together, but Pierre's always looking out for me. Even though I'm still pretty clumsy, he's never annoyed with me. I don't think I've ever seen him angry, come to think of it. Dude's got a fucking chin on him. And the nose, God, he has just got a long body. The women who come to dine here really love him. Pierre doesn't get to leave the kitchen much, but he's always sworn with fans as soon as he does. I don't blame them, he's such a dream boat. Oh, friendly co-worker. Yo, what are you guys doing? Oh, hello, Liam. Liam's kind of jack of all trades. On paper, he's a busser, but he's all, he also waits on tables. So he keeps the store in stock and all kinds of other things. I think he's been in the kitchen all this time. He must have not heard all the commotion. Mm, Taylor just had a little accident, that's all. Ah, uh, did you break some dishes again? I thought I heard Ethan yelling. It was an accident. I'm sorry. That's no big deal, Taylor. Don't worry about it. Everyone makes mistakes sometimes. Thanks, Liam. Liam's a really nice guy. He's the type that brightens up the entire room just by being in it. He can be a little impulsive, I suppose, but he's got a kind heart. I'm very glad to know him. Hey, but why are you letting Pierre clean it up? Oh, oh that's right. How rude of me. I should have... Mm, nah, I just meant that you guys are taking my job. Just leave this sort of stuff to me, yeah? With a boyish grin, Liam takes the broom from Pierre. Soon enough, all the broken pieces are swept away. But Liam takes some more time to check the floor for any pieces we might have missed. Wouldn't want someone stepping on a piece and cutting their foot. I think most of our patrons wear shoes, Liam. From anyone else, that might have sound snide, but Pierre is so gentle that Liam thinks nothing of it. Pierre just doesn't want Liam to worry. Aww, oh, they're nice. <laughs> I guess that's true. Liam glances at the clock hanging on the back wall of the kitchen and his eyes widen. Oh crap, we better get to work before you know who comes back in. You know who? Really? I I Ethan! What, am I supposed to be Voldemort now? You three look like you're having fun. Meanwhile, Taylor, I am on the floor doing your job for you. I'm sorry, Ethan. I before Ethan can lecture us anymore, we all disperse and get back to where we're supposed to be. Look, you kind of are like Voldemort. You need to chill out. Well, all of the days worth it goes around to more, I suppose. I could be just completely mispronouncing that. Oh, sometime later. Working at Resorante, the days pass by pretty quickly and there isn't much variation from one day to the next. But it's wonderful that the days are so peaceful. Break time, finally. Liam stretches his long limbs happily. His smile is pretty infectious, so I can't help but follow his lead. I'm nowhere near as flexible as Liam is, though. Oh. It. <laughs> Every day, the restaurant closes between 4 and 6, so that the staff can switch over from the lunch menu to the dinner menu. It's pretty busy. It's a pretty busy time for the chefs, but the rest of us don't have much to do while the restaurant is closed. Lunch period was busy today, wasn't it? Sure was. I don't think I got to sit down even once. I'm glad Rosarante is doing well, though. That means we can all stay here together for a little longer. Oh, this is Laura. She's a waitress like me, but she's still in college, so she doesn't work every day. Laura's super nice, but she's a little on the shy side. I heard that she and Liam started working here around the same time. They're on pretty good terms with each other, but Laura always seems embarrassed when she talks to him. I wonder why. Laura, do you want to get lunch to eat lunch together today? Since Laura and I are usually the only two waitresses on staff around this time, we usually hang out together. I consider her a good gir a good friend of mine. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, Taylor, but uh, I promised my sister I'd go somewhere with her today during the break. Um, you aren't mad at me, are you? Oh, of course not. If you made a promise with your sister, then you should keep it. I'll figure something else out. 
Thank you for understanding. Well, I guess I should be going now. I'll see you after dinner starts, okay? Sure, I'll see you later. Look, 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 glad there's... Oh, Jesus Christ. On a cracker. Laura quickly gathers her stuff and moves to meet with her sister. Well, it's no fun having lunch alone. It's just like to spend time with. Oh. See if you need to boldly approach Ethan. Ask Liam to come over. Oh, oh, okay. So it's time to start picking our boys. Ask Liam to come over. Why not? I'm sad to see Laura go, but I still have a friend in Liam. He's just sitting there over there. Seems like an obvious choice for a lunch partner. Pray you get a chance to ask him though. Liam walks over and sits down next to me. How surprising! Is it? <laughs> We're the only two people here. Well, Liam! Uh, I hope you don't mind. See, I, I saw Laura leave, so I thought you might be happier. Have somebody to sit with. We can keep each other company, right? <gasps> He's blushing. I start blinking at him for a few months before I start giggling. Uh, uh, what? Did I say something wrong? Oh, it, it, no, it's not at all. I'm sorry. I'd be happy to eat with you. I was just about to ask. <gasps> We're both blushing. How cute. Uh, oh, okay. I thought maybe I made you uncomfortable or something. Uh, of course not. I don't think someone like you is capable of making people uncomfortable. You're so friendly and easy to talk to. Oh, shucks. You're complimenting me way too much. Laughing to ourselves, we share a happy lunch together. <gasps> Oh, that's cute! Later that day. This is cuter than I thought. I thought it was gonna be real bad. But this is actually kind of adorable. The dinner shift today isn't nearly as busy as it was at lunch. But there's still a lot of work to be done. In my eagerness to please, I break a few more plates, which Ethan's not too happy about. I thought she was being sarcastic because she broke the plates. God. It only gets worse when Laura accidentally drops an entire tray of food. He seems even more harsh with Laura than he is with me. No, oh, Laura's so sweet. No. Oh. Don't you think that's a little ridiculous for you two to be causing this much damage? I'm, I'm sorry. The tray was heavier than I thought it would be, so I... If it seems too heavy, then you can just ask someone to help you. But... What is it? I'm scared to ask for your help. Yell at me. Damn, son. She's right. She right, though. I have to admit that she has a point, but I think Ethan would rather help out and have this happen. Yes, to cut his lecture short because he's needed on the floor, but Ethan leaves me a blur and Liam with the cleaning. I messed up again. It's okay, Laura. Don't let it get you down. It easy for you to say. You've been working here for just a few weeks, but you're already way better at waitressing than I am. That's not true. Ethan's always getting on my case, too. <laughs> the guy gets on everybody's case. Don't worry about it. Aw, Laura likes him. We are trying to steal a girl's boy. Liam. I know you've been getting better, Laura. You're a hard worker, and you're always polite with the customers. It'll all pay off for you eventually. It bugs me so bad that everything cuts off on those second lines. <sighs> it bugs me so bad. I wish Ethan could just see how much effort I've been putting in. Aw, Ethan always says that stuff because he wants you guys to get better. He doesn't mean anything of it in a bad way. Oh no. Can I save Scrub? <gasps> oh no. I can't. <gasps> I can't. Okay. I free with Liam. I think so too. Haven't you seen how hard Ethan works? Y yeah. There's no way that someone who works that hard is a bad person. You, you really think so? Yeah, of course. But next time, don't hesitate to ask me for help, okay? Heavy trays are no problem for me, after all. Okay, I'll try to do that next time. Thank you, Liam. No problem. We all quickly clean up just as we're about to get back to work, however. He then comes back with a sour look on his face, as usual. What's the matter? Ethan sighs. Get here out here as quickly as possible. Hmm? I don't understand. Pierre is part of the kitchen staff. Why would he be needed on the floor? Sometimes his fans wouldn't talk to him, but surely Ethan wouldn't be this annoyed just over that. I look over to Laura and Liam for some sort of explanation or reassurance. To my surprise, they both have reluctant, hesitant looks on their faces, too. 
Lori's usually a little downcast, but to see Liam like this is so strange. What's going on? Um, nothing much. Just a bit of trouble, I think. She's here again? Laura mumbles to herself, but it's just loud enough for me to hear. She? But Laura seems to distract the nose by curiosity and confusion. Uh, I'll go get Pierre. Who is she? She walks up to the kitchen looking somewhat deflated. Uh, I've got to take orders for some cu from some customers that just came in, so why don't you two go talk to Miss Adams? Miss Adams? Is this lady some sort of VIP? But then why does everybody seem so bothered by her presence? Luckily, Liam seems to sense my confusion. Uh, it's okay. She's not as bad as we're making her out to be. Miss Adams just is a bit of a handful. That's all. Oh, God. I imagine her to be just a straight up, like, oh, ho, 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 baby. And I'm really hoping that's what she is. He and I walk towards the table in question, but I'm still pretty confused about what's going on. Who is this person? Oh, not exactly what I pictured, but close enough. It's Angelina Adams, I soon learn. She's a young heiress, and this is her favorite restaurant. Normally, she comes in twice a week, but recently, she's been doing some international travel. That would explain why I hadn't seen her, even though I've been working here for almost a month. The others seem very familiar with her, though. Liam and I reach the table shortly. She's sitting alone, so I try my best to give her a friendly smile, which she counters with a cool, unimpressed stare. Well, that... Good evening, Miss Adams. It's so nice to see you again. Is there something you'd like to start your meal with? An appetizer, maybe? Oh, goodness. What kind of ways should we give you? No, thank you. Just bring Pierre out here, will you? Um, excuse me, but Pierre's a chef. If you'd like to place an order, we'd be more than happy to. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I not clear? Get Pierre over here now. You're wasting my time. Before either Liam or I can even move, Pierre comes out from behind us. The smile quickly defuses Miss Adams' temper. Angelina, it's so good to see you. How was your trip? Pierre! Oh, good with this. She practically jumps out of her chair as soon as she lays eyes on him, making a big show out of pecking him lightly on each cheek. It was wonderful, but I miss you. How have you been, darling? Well... Two of them start making small talk. They sound like they know each other really well. Is Adam's really just a customer? And it's then that Liam leans over and whispers in my ear. We should probably use two alone for now. What? Why are they on... Are they together? That would certainly explain why she's so happy to disappear, but Liam shakes his head. I wonder how Pierre and Miss Adams know each other then. Cast one more glance at them from over my shoulder as Liam and I walk away. Liam continues to explain the situation to me though. They're not going out with each other, but Pierre's the only one who can really deal with her, so whenever she comes in, we just kind of leave her to him. Shh, is that really all right? Of course, we can always rely on Pierre. He's great with women. I'm honestly kind of envious of him. Why would you be envious? Well, I really like him, and he's so good at everything. I find it really hard to talk to girls sometimes. I wish I could be more up here. You're perfect the way you are, buddy. Oh, see? Okay, but we are gonna say just in case. Boop. Boop. You're the way you are, Liam. You don't need to be envious of Pierre. Everything's got. Everyone has good. Jesus Christ. Everyone has things that they're good at. Really? Of course, you're so nice and easy to talk to. You always brighten up my day. Da, 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 da. Ah! Ah! What's wrong? Uh, huh? Oh, nothing. I'm just surprised, I guess. I didn't know you thought so highly of me. You're wonderful in your way, and Pierre's wonderful in his own way, too. There's no need to be like him. Thanks, I uh, appreciate it. If you're even draft, the two of us had to get back to work. Cute! Cute! Um, uh, it's also cute!